What's going on guys? So we just did a post fight breakdown of UFC 229 in the mauling of Conor McGregor and uh, Dana White would not put the belt on Khabib Nurmagomedov due to what do he say? He was afraid that people were going to get hurt because he's afraid there's too many Conor fans in the audience so if he put the belt on Khabib that people were going to throw bottles and stuff into the ring but um, let us remind you that the UFC and Proper 12 Whiskey are in cahoots. If you didn't see Proper 12 Whiskey on the mat, um, Conor McGregor and Dana White might be in a relationship. We don't know, but we know that they like to, you know, touch and kiss every now and then. Yeah. So, um, I find it personally ridiculous. I don't know how Steven feels. No, you know how I feel. What do you, you know, mean? You, you know you, exactly how I feel. You have the poster boy for the UFC and Conor McGregor getting beat by a beatdown. I mean, that's what you could call it, a mauling, a beatdown. And not only does he get beat down whenever Khabib goes to get his belt, like every other person does in the UFC, Dana White tells him, I can't put this belt around you for the fear of everybody else. Um, I think that's ridiculous. I mean, uh, dude, do you, you not? You heard my opinion. I think it's absolute, absolutely ridiculous. I feel like they could have strapped up Khabib. You know what I mean? he. It's not like he barely won. It was controversial. He decisively won. Yeah, he jumped over the fence. I don't even know if he jumped over the fence to fight Dylan Dennis. That all needs to break out later. I know he jumped over the fence and he happened to be brawling with yeah. Dylan Dennis. I don't know why. I don't know what happened. I know... One of Khabib's guys jumped over and fought with Connor. It was a huge deal. Everyone fought. It was kind of related to the um, Nick Diaz and um, fucking Mayhem Miller. You know yeah. when that whole yeah. brawl thing happened. So yeah, I think I think they should have strapped up Khabib, but Khabib handled it like a champ. He he just said whatever, walked out. Rockhold and DC were on Khabib like hey. Just chill out, you know what I mean? Yeah. I know you're hyped right now, but just calm down. Well, you have two very passionate fan bases. You know, you have the Irish fans who obviously was probably 70% or more. More, for sure. Of that crowd were Connor the fans. The Irish fans are crazy. And then you have the Russian him, fans, you know, to, to Khabib. But you, throughout the UFC, you have put the belt around every single champion that has ever won. And... Khabib Nurmagomedov just won by a mauling. Okay. It wasn't even close. You have to put the belt around him. Playing devil's advocate at this point, has there ever been a scenario like this, though? I you Asking know, you. No, there there has not. I mean, I would say that as far as a decision-wise, there has been a decision that, you know, maybe people have not agreed with. Um but for Dana White to say, I can't put the belt around you because fans are going to go crazy. There's been the whole Fabricio Verdum fighting um, Tim Brown's coach, who was um, also Ronda Rousey's coach, boxing coach. Yeah. Where he threw a kick at him and all that, and they still yeah. rewarded him. Well, they didn't belt him, but they rewarded him to win. I think that this all ties into that Conor McGregor has a lot more pull in the UFC than what Dana White wants to give off. And he's still trying to protect him to an mm -hmm. extent you know i feel like dana white's kind of doing everything he can to protect him without making it obvious he's trying to protect him and by him not giving khabib the belt it kind of like dilutes his win which a lot of people know that it doesn't he's still the champion he still mauled him he still beat him to death for for you, you know, what, do three you and a half think rounds. we're overreacting the situation though and you think um Khabib should be in trouble because Joe Rogan and whoever was sitting at the analyst table, John Anik, I think Dominic Cruz was also there, was saying this is bad for Khabib. This whole situation is so really fine bad him. from... Fine him. So you don't think it should be as big of a... Conor big McGregor deal? jumped over the cage and went at Jose Aldo. That's true. Yeah, that's exactly... I completely agree. You know, so, I'm glad you brought that up because so I completely agree. He was in Jose Aldo's face... And not a single word was said. It was considered promotion. It was a yeah. promo promotional thing. I completely so, agree. So when Khabib jumped over the fight at Dylan Dennis, which Dylan Dennis, first of all, is a stud, but he doesn't want none of Khabib. No, I, I agree, yeah. Khabib would mop the floor with Dylan Dennis. So 
you know, you, you have to keep a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You, you got to have a, a consistency. F- yes. You have to have consistency with all your fighters. You can't let Conor McGregor do whatever he wants at any time, any given place, any given where. And then as soon as Khabib does it, you say, oh, I'm fighting you. Oh, mm-hmm. I'm not going to give you your belt because Conor McGregor's done it. Mm-hmm. Conor McGregor's jumped over the cage. Conor McGregor's hit people when he said, don't touch him. Throwing Conor McGregor's at the way in. Or, Conor McGregor's yeah. thrown a dolly through a bus yeah. to get to Khabib. Come on. But yet you're going to find Khabib. Come on, Dana Strip White. Strip his belt. Whatever how, they were talking about. How much you know worse I mean? could it get? Your boy, Conor McGregor, got beat. He got mauled. End of story. There's... Your, your hype train with Conor McGregor is done. I don't have to add on to that. You said it perfectly. I completely agree. And I, I want to know what you guys think. I really do. I want to know if you think Khabib should be in trouble for his actions. Or if you think, you know what, it, it's no different than what Conor McGregor has done in the past. In fact, it's not as, even as bad as what he's done in the past. I don't know how that could be as, as bad as what Conor McGregor has done in the past. He's actually thrown a dolly. Made people bleed, made people fall off of fights, yep. made Rose Nami Yunez. Went to court. Exactly. He's getting sued by other exactly. fighters. Exactly, yet his fight after all that has happened is a championship fight. You know, And not to mention his whiskey's getting promoted. His whiskey's on the canvas. On the canvas. Like, they're they're almost rewarding him for yep. the, the promotion that has hurt other people. I don't mean to sound like a Conor McGregor hater, because I'm not. In fact, I was rooting for the guy for the longest time, but there's only so many things that the guy could do until I'm like, dude, you, you, you're coming off as an asshole. You're coming off is a person that's like hurting our sport in a way. I don't know. What do you think about it? What do you think about the whole Dolly in that situation? Well, we've we've we, been we on record about before. It, yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Conor McGregor is getting special treatment. No, and now it's no doubt about for it. For this fight, you know, Dana White goes from saying that Conor McGregor, I would hate to be Conor McGregor. He did a messed up thing to he, using he said his it's promotional material. Absolutely into, disgusting. Yeah, the worst thing in UFC. Yeah. So. Anyways. Let's, yeah, let us know what you guys think. I'm really curious because this this was a bizarre night of fights. It was a great fight card until the end there. I mean, it's still great, but it was bizarre there at the end, everything that happened, the whole not belting Khabib. I want to know what you guys think. Do you think Khabib should have been belted? Or do you think um, Dana White was doing the right thing by not belting him because things could have been thrown into the octagon and hurt some people? You know, like dollies. Maybe Conor McGregor fans would toss some dollies into the octagon. Who knows? Let us know what you guys think because we're really curious about that. Anyways, guys, have a great night, and we'll talk to you later. Peace.